Hi, my name is Harriet Lindsay. I'm a chemistry professor and also a faculty associate for undergraduate research here at Eastern Michigan University. I'd like to tell you about a program that we've been running in this past year that was funded by Michigan Space Grant Consortium. It's a high school summer research program um, at EMU. So the goals of the program are, are fourfold. And so the first is to create an experience that introduces high school students to the excitement of research. The second is that we want to provide access to students who are underrepresented, female identifying, economically disadvantaged, and or first generation college students to have access to um, this research program. And so we've run the program in, in previous years and we just, we've opened this up to all students, um, but unfortunately there are costs associated with the program and those are largely borne by the participating high school students. This year, thanks to Michigan Space Grant Consortium funding, we were able to provide the program to six um, of these students who identified as one of these underrepresented groups um, for no cost at all. So the third goal is that we want to train students in scientific method, um, hypothesis testing, specific lab skills for their project, and scientific communication in the form of a poster presentation. And finally, we want to do all this while we maintain an atmosphere of mentorship, collaboration, and fun for the students to get them excited um, about doing research. And so I want to tell you a little bit about our recruitment. Um, Certainly this year, the pandemic was a challenge. Um, we were able to utilize um, a partnership with um, EMU's Upward Bound program, which is a Department of Education. Uh, it's one of the Department of Ed TRIO programs, which um, transitions um, economically dis disadvantaged and first generation uh, high school students into college. And so we partnered with um, the director of that program to try to identify students to work in, to, to participate in our program. We also do have some local high school contacts. In fact, we have a high school on Eastern's campus and we were able to, uh, to grab a couple of students from there. Um, we, we used social media. So in the past, we've been able to go into high schools and recruit, but obviously that was not a possibility this past um, spring semester. So our social media um, had to do the job instead. And finally, um, we built um, what we hoped would be an attractive recruitment website, complete with faculty research interests um, to, to attract students in the program. So once we got applications, um, and as I said earlier, uh, we were able to attract uh, or to select six students to fit the program. Um, we asked students when they applied to tell us about the science classes they'd completed and the grades in those classes. Um, they were to select faculty mentors according to their, uh, their interests. And then um, we wanted them to tell us about um, whether they belong to any underrepresented groups, um, their gender, if they were on school lunch assistance to tell us about their um, economic situation and whether they would be a first generation college student. And so based on um, the information regarding the coursework they completed and their research interests, we paired them with faculty mentors. And so I should point out this year, um, we had faculty from both the chemistry department and the biology department who participated in the program. So let me tell you a little bit more about the program logistics. It is in fact a three week program, so it's, it's pretty short, uh, but students are here between six and eight hours a day, Monday through Friday for those, those three weeks. Um, the first day is completely orientation. There's lab safety training, um, notebook record keeping and the importance of that and, and uh, a discussion of scientific ethics. And then following that day, students do research in the labs with their, their mentors, their faculty mentors and their student mentors um, for about the next 14 days. The last two days of, um, of the program are poster preparation. So they learn how to assemble um, a scientific poster and we talk through what that presentation looks like. The presentation is actually on the Monday following the end of the program. So a little bit more about the logistics. So students um, are trained by their faculty mentor and also by an advanced undergraduate or graduate student mentor in the faculty mentor's lab. Um, they do receive, as I said, poster preparation training. And we also host 
weekly group lunches, at least weekly group lunches and discussions. So this year, um, we had some discussions on careers in science to let students know uh, what's available to them if they decide to major in a science, um, if they decide to major um, in a science field in college. We also uh, talked to some of the students who were interested in thinking about medical school or pre-professional schools on what um, a college curriculum would, would look like that would get them to where they wanted if that was if that were the route that they wanted to take. So uh, last, I want to talk to you a little bit about the program outcomes. And so students learned about research. They learned new lab techniques. They were able to make a contribution, albeit a small one, to an original research project. They collected and analyzed data and they presented their results as scientific posters. So um, we surveyed the students after the program was over and, uh, and they, they gave us uniformly positive feedback. I am showing um, some selected examples here, but the, the feedback was uh, uniformly positive. So um, some students learned, loved that, enjoyed that they learned um, about how to actually conduct an experiment. Um, other students enjoyed learning that science isn't always going to go as planned um, and things are discovered by accident. It's one of my favorite comments. Um, and other students let us know that we did in fact make the program uh, fun and they enjoyed meeting other students in the program. Finally, we surveyed parents um, about what they thought about their their child's experience and again we got uniformly positive feedback um, one parent was uh, was quite effusive and I've shared that here so um, she really liked that her her daughter was able to to learn a lot and to accomplish some things um, while under the direction of her student and faculty mentors. And then another parent just felt that the program was overall positive. So thanks to Michigan Space Grant Consortium, um, again, we were able to run the program with six students this year, and we are hopeful that we can expand the program in coming years using continued funding um, as leverage to seek other sources of funding to allow us to bring in more students. Thank you very much.